Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSP of our tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Got to figure out a way to shorten that intro. I could say God bless everybody, our troops, our veterans and Israel. I think that's what I'll say from now on. Got to find a way to shorten that. Anyway, uh, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get that ultimate screenshot and or thumbnail that you need uh, to send to your friends, to share to your social media, or to make for your YouTube content. And guys, there are some requirements that's going to be needed for this. ScriptHookV is going to be one. ScriptHookV.net and then the in-game uh, screenshot itself. So go ahead and click the link down there, guys. And you notice we're going to have a lot of links up here. If you guys notice, I'm going to show you a few tricks here. So go ahead, guys, and you're going to click down. You're going to download uh, Script Hook V. You're going to just going to scroll down and click download right here, guys. Just download it in this area right here, okay? And just put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. Once you have that, go on to ScriptHookV.net and download it right here, guys, by clicking here. <clears throat> All right. Just put it somewhere where you know how to get to it, guys. As long as you know how to get to it, then that's okay. All right, and then on the next one is going to be in-game screenshots right here. 1.1 by Jedediah. Uh, I'm sorry, not Jedediah. I'm sorry, J Jedi Josh 920. My bad. Uh, so this is going to be the actual mod that we're using here. Um, this is for the in-game screenshots. This is actually a really cool tool, guys. I've messed with it a few times, and I find it very, very helpful. Uh, so go ahead and click download right here. All right. Once you have that one, guys, I do recommend getting a trainer. Uh, the simple trainer I highly recommend it's a lot easier to use than menu or anything like that so we're going to be using this as well uh, let's go on to the next one the next one is going to be Xbox game bar now this right here guys you can use this for screenshots okay um, and I'm going to show you um, why we're downloading this when we get into the game after we do our installation I'm not going to be installing this um, it, I don't know why it's telling me to get it I already actually already have this installed I don't know why it's saying that but Maybe because I accessed it from Google or whatever. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next one. And that's going to be the GeForce Experience, which is another way to take screenshots. Now, make sure before you download this GeForce Experience that your computer is strong enough to handle it, okay? Because if not, you're going to mess a lot of things up, okay? It's going to bog your computer down. It's going to catch it on fire and make it smoke, all right? And you don't want to have to call the fire department in your house. That would be quite embarrassing, all right? Especially if they asked you what happened. Oh, I downloaded a graphics card and my computer wasn't strong enough. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, guys, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, so, if you need, if you guys, if you want to get this, go ahead and get it. Just make sure your computer's strong enough to handle it. Um, this is actually what, this is actually what I use right here. And, um, it's amazing. I love the GeForce experience. I use it for screenshots. I use it for in-game recording. You can also use it for desktop recording, uh, which is uh, uh, Shadow Play is right here, guys. You can use Shadow Play. It's it's pretty amazing, guys. I, just, I can't say enough about GeForce. It is absolutely amazing. So let's close out that, guys. Now that we've got everything downloaded, uh, we are going to open up our Grand Theft Auto V main directory. Now, if you follow my both of my tutorials, then you should know how to access this by now. If not, then I'll leave I'll I'll leave links down showing you guys how to do that and how to locate your main directory. All right, everybody should know how to do this by now. Now, the first thing you are going to need, guys, in your main directory is one of these right here, a scripts folder. Y'all see that? So what you want to do is go down here in your main directory in this little buffer zone. All right. Click, uh, right click, click new. Um, sorry, click new, click folder. All right. Once you click folder, you have a folder pop up down here in the bottom. Just name it scripts just as you see it right here. Okay. S-C-R-I-P-T-S, all lowercase. Now, once you have that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up Script Hook V. It's a very simple install. Double click on the bin. And literally, guys, the only ones you want is the dnput8.dll and the Script Hook V.dll. Grab both of these, pull them in your main directory, and drop them just like that. All right, I already have them. Just like that, I'll replace them, though. It won't ask you to replace them, but it will me because I already have them. All right, moving on to the next one, Script Hook V.net. You are literally going to need three of these files, guys. It's going to be scripthookv.net2.dll, all right, 
And then script hook v.net 3.dll. Hold down your control key and highlight the next one. And then hold down your control key once again and highlight script hook v.net.asi. These are the three files you need, okay? Grab them, drag them in your main directory, drop them just like that, okay? Now it's going to ask me to replace because I already have them. It will not ask you that, okay? Unless you just, you're overriding them. Close out all that. Get rid of that. And then the main one here, guys, is our in game screenshots. Go ahead and open that up. And don't let these two files scare you. We know I know exactly what to do with them, okay? Trust me, guys. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. All right? Let's go over here to our main directory and double-click on the scripts folder. All right? And what you want to do is grab both of these files, drag them in your scripts folder, and drop them like that. It will not ask you to replace them. It's just asking me because I already have them. Now, what you want to do, guys, is open up your in-game screenshot configuration setting right here. Open that up. Now, the main uh, key is going to be J to activate your in-game screenshot. Now, I like to change this to K. Make sure whatever you change it to, guys, it's a letter and it's capital, okay? Once you got that, go ahead and click File and click Save. Or you can click the Close button right here and click Save like this on Prompted to. Now, if you're not sure if it saved it when you, when you saved it like that, go back into it. And I'll show you right there you saved it, okay? Once we got that, let's go back to our main directory. Refresh that. Close out of that. Close out of your WinRAR. Get rid of this shortcut. All right, and I'll see you guys inside of the game. All right, guys, so let's get let's go up here, and we're going to adjust the time a little bit. I'm going to take it to let's take it to noon. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Oh look, there goes Cap. There goes Captain right there. He just went over the hill. I guess so we're going to drive up here. Gonna drive up this way, and let's make sure we got a good background. And that looks pretty good right there. That looks like a good background. So we're gonna back up. That looks even better over there, actually. That looks much better. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content, man. Uh, this is my half. What? This is my rebuilt LSPFR, guys. I'm still currently working on this. As you can see, I haven't had much time to put many plugins and stuff into it. So this is pretty much still all vanilla. All right, so that is a good shot right there. But you know what? We're actually going to go over here. Let's get up on top of this hill. Chat. All right, so we want to turn our car around uh, this way. And we are going to get up on the hill right about there. That's perfect. All right, so we're going to get out. All right, guys. And I'm going to face this way right here. And once you go into free mode, guys, you can adjust the camera any way you want. So I'm just going to say, for example, I'm going to want a thumbnail for this particular video, okay? The first thing I'm going to do, guys, I want to turn off my, my, my map, okay? Now, there is other ways that I can take my player location display out. For example, guys, you can actually take the player location display out of your directory if you want to when you want to get a good screenshot, all right? So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go down to settings. I'm going to go down to display, and I'm going to turn off my radar and my HUD, okay? Let's turn them both off. Now my radar is off. Now, we're going to hit that key, guys, to go into our screenshot mode. That's going to be the letter K for me, all right? Once you're in it, guys, you can hit the W to go forward, S to go back, A to go left, D to go right, okay? That's going to pull you out, and you can kind of scan around here a little bit. You can scan around your whole player just like this. I love it, guys. Now... I would love it if I was actually right there beside that vine wood sign. That would be a good shot too, or if I at least got it in the shot. Now, you can use W, S, A, and D to maneuver around. However, once you get to where you want to be, you're going to use the arrows to actually zoom in and out, and you're going to hit the H to hide that HUD, okay? Now, I'm going to use the H to go in, okay? And you can kind of maneuver around with your camera too like this, you know what I'm saying, uh, to just kind of get different angles. Um, I'm going to go over this way. And controller users, you can use your thumbsticks for this. It's just a little harder. Um, you just have to barely move that right thumbstick like that. If you turn it too fast, you're going to get that motion. So if you just barely hold that, turn that thumbstick, which would be mouse for keyboard users, and then your left thumbstick will actually pull it back and take it in, take it left, and take it right. Okay. Now, if I want to go down, I'm going to get eye level with my, with my character. Okay. So we're going to go about right there. All right, and then I'm going to start zooming out. 
All right, you can actually tilt it too if you want to like that. And this is, in my opinion, guys, the best way to get a good screenshot or a thumbnail, um, you know, for your for your your uh, video or what whatnot. Um, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix the time just a tad bit to where that sun is coming down. So we want a good screenshot of the sun coming down. All right, so let's go down here and adjust it just a little bit more. We're gonna kind of fine tune it. If, so to speak. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. I am going to adjust the weather. Uh, I do want, um, we're going to do, let's do clear skies. Well, that doesn't look very good. And foggy looks crappy too. Yeah, so foggy looks real crappy. We'll just do extra sunny. All right, let me exit out of that. Now I'm going to zoom back into my guy. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is probably going to be uh, my thumbnail. I doubt it. I'll probably do something else. Anyway, guys, you can go to your trainer and go up to model spawning. All right, now that we got the maneuver maneuvering down of the, the in-game screenshot. And once you go to model spawn, you're going to go to scenario menu. And right here, you can have your character do different things. You can have him stand. You can have him have a cup of coffee in his hand, which he's not doing that very well. All right, or you can have him hold binoculars. Okay, let me try this another way because that's not that's not working out. Okay, it's in slow motion mode. So if you're in slow motion mode, guys, hit the G key. That will take you out of slow motion mode. That's exactly why he was doing that. All right, so see, he's got binoculars in his hand. Let me go back to model spawning and scenario menu. I'm going to go over to um, coffee. So now he's got a cup of coffee in his hand. There, he's got a smoke. <laughs> There's a bum right there. I bet you can't hit me with a quarter. <laughs> That's a that's a good one. There's a bum slump like he's laying down sleeping. There's all kinds of stuff here you can go through, guys. There's a bum standing. A bum wash. You know, splash water up on his body. Kind of disgusting. Car park attendant. You know, it's, it's got all kinds of cool stuff here, guys. There's the cheering. There's our, there's our clipboard, which in my opinion would not be a bad thumbnail. Now that one's kind of dumb. That one just where your cop idols. So we'll use that. I'm actually going to use this for my screenshot uh, for the video. So you guys will actually be able to see this uh, this screenshot here. Now, it's best right here. What happened to the weather? That was weird. It's best right here, guys, to um, possibly put it in slow motion. All right. And that way you can kind of get him maneuvering back and forth. And you want to get that perfect screenshot, that perfect thumbnail. All right. And I'm going to do it right there. Now, there's a few different ways you can do this, guys. Uh, you can do it with your Xbox game bar, which is going to be uh, your Windows key and then your your left alt key. And your would be your P-R-T-S-E-R key. That's your print scan key, okay? Uh, okay, so hit all three of those at the same time. And that is going to give you a screenshot. Now, if you want to use GeForce Experience, guys... You are going to hold down left alt and hit F1. That is also going to give you a screenshot through your GeForce gallery, okay? Um, I don't use much of Rockstar Editor, guys. I just don't really mess with it. It's just not my thing. Um, so I just I just don't really do that. Um, I might get into it one day, but as of right now, I'm not going to do that. Um, but, you know, guys, like I said, you can just maneuver around however you want here. You can change your scenario scenes with your simple trainer. Um, it, there's pretty much endless amounts of possibilities. You can go up high like this, and then kind of, I'm going to go up really high, guys, and I'm going to maneuver around my guy. Uh, where's he? There he is. Okay. So you can go like a shot like this, and then just kind of zoom down. You know what I mean? You can kind of zoom in and get an above shot like that, which I think is actually really cool. I might actually use that for a thumbnail. So I'm going to screenshot that right quick with my Xbox bar. And also with my GeForce experience. So I'm going to get two screenshots there. I'm going to grab a couple as he's moving. And then to go out of slow motion, guys, hit the G again. He'll go out of slow motion. And as he's doing this, guys, if he's out of slow motion, you can grab a few screenshots here as you're going along. Just grab one on uh, GeForce experience or the Xbox game bar or whichever one you have, whichever one you prefer. And I like it right there with his arms crossed. His arms crossed. So I'm going to pause it. Or not pause it. I'm sorry. Go in slow-mo. 
I'm going to zoom in just a tad bit and bring the camera over this way. Okay. And then I am going to grab that magic screenshot, that divine screenshot. There it is right there, guys. And to exit out, guys, you're going to hit the key that you went into it with, which is going to be your whichever one you selected. It's going to take you back out of it. Now, if you're in this position right now and you cannot move your guy, it's because you didn't cancel your scenario on your simple trainer. So go back to your simple trainer, go to model spawning, go to scenario menu, and go down to cancel scenario and click on it, okay? And now at this time, your guy can move around freely again. All right? And that is pretty much it, guys. Man, that's a good that's a good screenshot picture right back there, man. No doubt about that. You know what? Let's stand in front of the car. Stand in front of the car about right here. All right? I'm going to get him facing this way. And uh, I'm going to actually get him facing out this way. So this is the cool thing about this, guys, about maneuvering around and your simple trainer. I'm going to go ahead... And uh, I'm going to go back into my camera, take it out of slow-mo, and we're going to go this way. So I'm just going to show you guys a little, bit, a few more tricks here, and then we'll end the video. But you guys get the gist of it and how it works. Um, see the tree speed up there, guys, in the wind? Now everything's in slow mode again. Slow-mo, slow-mo, slow-motion mode, however you want to say it. I'm going to go back to model spawning, guys, scenario. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to put the binoculars in his hands. Because I think that would be a cool shot for right here. And then, uh, of course, you want to exit out of your simple trainer. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you do have, um, if you have, like I said, your map, player location display, um, your need for speed gauge, it will show up in your screenshots, especially if you're in your car. All right, let's go slow-mo right there. And looks to me like right there, like that's going to be a good, pretty good shot. That's going to be a pretty good shot right there, guys. So we're going to actually go in right here. All right, now see that? Now I'm going to hide my hub with the key, with the H key. All right. And we are going to screenshot that right there with the Xbox bar and the GeForce Experience both. I'm going to take it in just a little bit more. And a zoomed out shot would probably look good with that too, guys, like this. But this is pretty easy to use. I'm going to do a zoomed in shot too as well. And I'm going to actually try a different camera angle here. See if we can't get him at the side of the car. Let's take him out of slow-mo. Alright, so right there. We can grab another shot of him right here from the side. We're going to zoom in and adjust that camera. Look guys, there's a deer right over there in the shot. Now, remember, guys, with your simple trainer, you can take pets out of the game. I'm trying to remember how to do it. I think it's under options um, right here, guys. You can enable no pets, so it takes the pets out of the uh, takes the pets out of the game. And if you disable cars, be careful because it can't take yours out. See, it just disabled mine. So I'm gonna keep keep the screenshot I had. Go back out of slow mo. Hit the K to go back out of it, and then go back to my simple trainer and in my scenarios. All right, so there we go. And let me get my car back, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, you want to be careful doing that, guys, because you can uh, uh, blip your car out. It will, it can, and it will happen. So just be ready for that. All right, let's go ahead and get him out. And we're going to walk him around here again. So, guys, that is pretty much it for um, for that, anyway, uh, for that, that tutorial. Because it's pretty self-explanatory after that, guys. You just got to kind of open it up. You got to mess with it. I'm going to put him back in uh, slow-mo mode. And I'm going to put the binoculars in, in his hands because I want to get a really good screenshot for this th for this particular video. I want to get a good thumbnail. So let me go back to here. Let's uh, put the binoculars back in his hand like this. Go out of slow-mo. I'm going to hide that HUD and exit out of my, main, my uh, trainer. And now I'm going to go back like this. I'm going to go over. And I, I'm going to try to, I want my idea is I want to get a picture of him, a shot of him looking over that way, like over towards the buildings, towards the city. So we're going to go right here, go in slow-mo, there it goes right there. And that's going to be our magic shot right there. That's going to be our magic shot, I'm going to do it with both. Alright, and that is going to be it, I'm going to exit out. And again guys, I'm going to end my scenarios. And that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this tutorial on the in-game screenshot. Now, guys, in my opinion, I think this is a pretty cool tool to have. Um, and you'll see in my thumbnail, whichever one I choose to use, I, I took like 10 right there. Um, 
But I normally take between 10 to 15 screenshots of my guy in different positions of what I'm doing um, to make thumbnails, uh, you know, especially on my FS-19. Um, I really take my time on there to do really good screenshots. I try to make them as good as I can. Um, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure you check out my description for my YouTube brothers and sisters. I actually, guys, I actually have gained a new YouTube sister. Okay? And I'm going to sh tell you her name here in just a minute. She goes by, I believe it is Nerdbound Gaming. And I'm fixing to look just to make sure I know. It's, but yeah, Nerdbound Gaming, guys. Check her out. Um, she is an upcoming YouTuber. And she is, uh, this girl's very smart. She's very intelligent. And um, she is an upcoming YouTuber. She does a lot of great LSPFR content, guys. A lot of good stuff on her channel. Go check her out. Subscribe to her channel. Show her some love. Along with my other YouTube brothers and sisters, guys. Go check them out. And also, guys, you can also come. Well, I have it in the description. It's come blow up my social media. All right? So you can come follow my uh, follow me right here on, on, uh, on YouTube, guys. Subscribe to me on here. Subscribe to my CJ Farms. My Criminal Justice CJ Farms Facebook page, which is a group page. Come in and share, share your screenshots and whatnot. Uh, my CJ Farms Instagram and my Criminal Justice Instagram is in here as well, guys. Also, check out Jeffrey Gamer merch. His his merch is hot right now, guys. I believe he has marked his stuff down a little bit. Um, and so it's really good deals right now, guys. So if you want to get some really good merch, some good quality merch, go check out Jeffrey Gamer merch. Um, that's it, guys. Love y'all so much. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.